Good morning, everybody. So me and my girlfriend, Sammy, just got out here to the golf course where the corn maze is gonna be. Right here is the actual golf course. Here is gonna be the shuffleboard. Over there, somewhere in here is gonna be a fire pit area with three fire pits. Over there where the telephone poles are, not really telephone poles, the light poles, is the parking lot. And then back here, where you see Sammy right over here, is gonna be the corn maze, this whole field right back here. This will be the entrance and the pumpkin patch, which will be right in front of it. So right now, what we're doing is we're spreading rye on the outer perimeter of the whole thing for the hayride because we don't wanna have a lot of mud. We wanna keep mud down and everything as much as possible when going through with the tractor in the hayride. So what we're gonna do is spread this rye and hopefully have a nice bed of grassy hay seed and uh, that way it'll be nice to drive on and hopefully not be quite as muddy. There's Sammy. We're out at the corn maze field today with my great grandfather's cycle trademark heavy duty fertilizer and seed sower. And we have our bucket of not cat litter, but rye seed in here. And you can see, you can kind of tell with the grass blowing and everything, it's kind of windy and the seed is extremely fine. So even the slightest breeze blows it. So what I'm gonna try and do is go around the whole perimeter with this cedar about a 10 to 15 foot section. I'm gonna try and spread, but like I said, it's kind of hard with the wind and just get a nice even planting of this rye seed. So we'll start off and see how it goes. Before I put too much seed in here, I wanna show you how this kind of works. It's pretty, pretty simple, which, well, let me shut this off. There. It's pretty simple. So I have this guide right here. This tells me I can open it up and when I turn, when I open this up, that lets the seed out and falls down onto this. We'll just call it a hopper and then it flies out. And if I push this lever down right here, it shuts that off and no seed can come out. But anyway, this is where the seed goes, kind of like in the sack here. It feeds down into kind of like that funnel there and then the seed will come out. And then depending on how fast I crank is how fast it will spread the seed. So. What I'm gonna do now is try and pour this in here without spilling it. Whoa. All right, let's pour it in first. <laughs> and then it goes just right in here like that. And then when I put this on, it's got this sling right here. And this right here will go along my backside, or actually my, my stomach area. Like so. And then I'll go out to the field like this, and I'll spread my seed. So as you can see now, my bag is full with my seed. It might be a little over full, but that's all of it. Now I can head out to the field, and I'll start spreading. It's really hard to get this outside edge here. So I just got done <clears throat> with spreading the whole perimeter. I think I did a pretty good job. It's kind of hard to tell because like I said, the seeds are so fine. And I don't know if you can see that there, but there's probably about 50, 75 seeds in that spot right there. And that's kind of what it should be throughout the whole 15 feet in from the perimeter of the whole field. So stay tuned because hopefully in about two or three months, there'll be corn popping up here. We're just about to get a storm. It says it's not supposed to start for like another half hour. So my dad's out here right now spreading fertilizer and uh, we just picked it up yesterday. But the problem is, is we have the wagon back there with the fertilizer and you can see how the sky's getting pretty dark. So if it would rain, that would really screw stuff up because it'll start to kind of bridge up the fertilizer in the hopper because we don't have a cover on it right now. And also it'll hurt the fertilizer that's in the bags. 
um, that's on the trailer. So we're hoping we have enough time. If it holds off for just a little bit longer, we can get this field spread. So we just got finished with one load. We have one more load to do. And uh, hopefully we don't get any rain. So the first bench is in the making right now. We like the angles. We pretty much got the height down. But we're figuring out the back height and all that kind of stuff. We're trying to make them as simple, but nice as possible. And of course we got the puppies here. Now it's finally starting to look like a bench. You can see how simple it is, but how nice it looks. Now all we gotta do is put the backboard on and you'll be able to sit down. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I think that's nice. Is it bouncy at all? Not at all. I think we should add a two by four center beam down it. I don't think so. That sucker, you can get a little car on it. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm down in the barn with Alex, I came over to the greenhouse and Sammy is here planning. What are you planning, Sammy? Pickles. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Sammy's planting pickles. As you can see, here's the one she's already got done. We used to plant them in these little plugs and actually we might have some out here. I'll show you. We used to plant them in these plugs and we what you do is soak these in water and then they'll blow up to about two and a half inches and then we have to open them up and then plant the seed in and then we'll take our vermiculite that's down in that bag over there and we'll cover them up but now this time we're trying something new we have these new trays we're playing three seeds in each cell and then we're going to sell them like that because this method here takes a long time we have to go down and get hot water let them soak open them up and this way all we have to do is plant the seeds cover them up and it's over with so we're trying something new and we'll see what happens. So while she's doing that, mom and dad are down there, if you can see them. Mom's watering, dad's watering hanging baskets. And I am going to be seeding our field tomatoes, like I said earlier, how I got everything ready, uh, sanitized everything. Now I'm just actually getting ready to fill my seed trays and I'm gonna start seeding. And then Frank and Steph, while Steph is over in the other greenhouse, she's transplanting seedlings into like six packs and four packs. And then Frank, which you can't see, 
is down. Well, maybe you can, he's right there. Just disappeared. He's down weed whacking and mowing around the pond because with all this warm weather, now the grass is really starting to grow. 